Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are checking out another mod, this time in the form of the Orbital Material Science mod by user Nehemia, though the E's are with threes, so I'm only guessing that's how you say it. Uh, but this mod is really cool, especially if you like the science system in the game. Now, we are actually in a sandbox save, so I can't go into the R&D building, uh, but this mod is fully integrated into R&D and allows you to produce more science from your orbital space stations. Now, it's one of the big problems, at least in my opinion, with the science at the moment. You get kind of diminishing returns the more you do science in specific areas, and so stations in orbit have uh, limited uses with scientific experimentation. Now, this mod hopes to change that. So if we head into the VAB and just head right on over to the Science tab, not Utility, we get these eight lovely new parts that are, well, quite fun. I really do enjoy them. And the first part, and probably the most important part of this mod, is the NEMSL-1000 Material Science Lab. Now this requires a single crew to operate at the least. And actually, I think it only holds one crew. Oh no, crew capacity two. So minimum crew one, total crew capacity two. And this basically creates research points, as you see test points per hour there on the description, and added with at least one researcher in it. And this allows you to use these six experimental modules that you see up here. Now, if we grab this and pop it up there and grab the cupola for size comparison, you'll see that that is the size of this science lab, or uh, material lab, rather. Oh, material science lab, it works either way, I guess. And yeah, this basically gives you the ability to research in space and with an addition of this material exposure platform, which allows you to do specific other experiments. Now that is one of the things on this mod, you require specific parts to do specific experiments. Now every one of these six science modules requires the material science lab to function, but some of them also require this material exposure platform because the materials have to actually be exposed to space. And so you'll need that addition. Now, two of the experiments on here, I'm forgetting which ones here at the moment. Ah, yes, the Cool Flames uh, experiment and the Capillary Flow experiment also have a dependency on another mod called Station Science, which are these parts down here. Now, this is a similar sort of space science mod, but it's not in fully flesh, fleshed out, uh, not quite as much as uh, the orbital material science mod up here, but it requires this THNKR science lab for these two experiments to sort of add a little bit of flavor and a little bit of extra scientific whatever you want to say to your lab. So if we pump that right up there, and now with this combination of three science labs, we can use all six of these various modules that hold one-time use scientific experiments. Yes, you heard that right, one-time use. It's not like the Science Junior or the Mystery Goo where you can just do them however many times you want. Once you research the experiment in this specific capsule, you cannot use this capillary flow experiment capsule again. Now, the idea behind this is that you send up experiments on your supply ships if you're RPing your space station. You send up an experiment, a dock with the space station, and let the experiment go, and then you eventually, once it's finished, undock your supply capsule, return it back to the planet, and collect the science, and then send up another experiment later. That is the idea behind this mod, and I, I really like that idea. If you want to do the science, you have to send these specific modules to the station and then bring them back home. Now, I really, really do like that idea. It is quite cool. 
And the six experiments that we do have here are the uh, capillary flow experiment, the capillary channel flow experiment, the cool flames experiment, and who doesn't like cool flames, the material exposure experiment, a second material exposure experiment, and the flame extinguishment experiment. Now, some of these are actually based off of real experiments that are up on the ISS or have been on the ISS in the past. And the idea behind them, bring them up, research, send them home. I like it. Now, I have a space station up in space if we head on over to the tracking station so we can actually see these in action. Now, I did not... Uh, add on to them a capsule to return home. I did just bolt them straight onto the space station for the purpose of demonstration here today. Now, if we angle ourselves a bit more towards the uh, sun so we have some good light, we've got a pretty full little space station here. Our cupola module, a habitat module, the uh, THNKR science lab, then our material science lab here. And the material exposure platform. Now, when we take a look at these experiments that we have over here, I actually have been experimenting. Ooh, which one was it? Ah, there we go. The capillary channel flow experiment has been running. And it's been going for... Oh, God, I don't remember how much time... Oh, yes, the time up here in the corner. So, uh, 25... Whatever minutes, I guess. <laughs> and it's only gotten to 0.42 of 18. So this isn't quick science. Another reason why I like it, it'll provide you with good scientific research, but it will take time. Now, this one just runs as it does, and it requires the material lab, and we can pause the research at any time we'd like and then restart it. And we only get one test point per, per hour, so you really don't want to be running multiple experiments at the same time. Because if we ran another experiment here, we would have, uh, well, half the amount of test points. Now this one is one of the ones that also cr uh, requires the science lab from the station science mod and so it also is being used or has to have eurekas produced uh, but the test points here is going to be 28 for that wow that will take a while now that one of course required both the material science lab and the, this nkr science lab but one of my favorite ones are these material exposure experiments as they require this material exposure lab. Now we can actually turn on a light here that uh, does shine, that's built into the system that I, I quite enjoy, and start this experiment, and we actually got a cool little animation of it exposing the materials to space on the exposure platform. So if we just click that, you'll see it pop right out. It is a sample exposure rack right there. Little arm pulls it back. And bam, there we go. I, I, I like that little animation. It's the little things in life. They entertain me. And this, of course, also does do uh, one per hour for exposure time. And it requires 20. So it's going to take 20 hours for that specific experiment to finish. But again, like I said, the point of this mod is to send this up from a ship from the uh, Space Center, dock, do the experimentation, and then take it back home with you. <laughs> and, uh, well, that, that's why I like it. I, I, th I think of it as a well-balanced science. It takes a long time, but it does a good, good science production, and it balances it out by taking that long amount of time and the requirement of taking it home. Now, I haven't actually tested if we can transmit the science. I'm assuming we can if we had a radio equipment on here, but uh, my word, like, this one's going to take 18 hours to do. This one's going to take 20. I, I haven't tested that, but um, I, I still like the idea, and if you do use this mod, the point is to bring it to your station, take it back home. I like it. It's cool. It is a wonderfully fun mod. I, I am really enjoying this, and 
Honestly, a mod like this might get me back into my career save. I haven't really been messing much with the career mode uh, because I, I kind of got bored with the science system, but I like the idea of this having to bring the experiment to where you're testing and then take it home again. I really, really like that idea, and it could be quite a complicated endeavor if you start building stations around other planets or even sending these experiments to the moon or Duna or whatever it may be. I, I quite like that idea, the difficulty involved in it, and the time requirement. It is quite cool, quite fun. If you want to go and check this out for yourself, you just need to follow the link in the description. And I would definitely say, if you are a fan of science in Kerbal Space Program, check out this mod. It is, once again, the Orbital Materials Science mod by a user Nehemia. And if you want to use some of the experiments, you will also need the dependency of the Station Science mod. Uh, but yeah, quick, easy downloads, good, fun, sciencey times. Go and check it out. It's great. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.